MTV. T-shirts, that is. Today we're making MTV screen print T-shirts. I was so lucky, Abby gave me this for Christmas. <laughs> well, I found this MTV screen print kit actually at five below, so it only cost about $4, and I thought that was a bargain for all of the stuff being included. So today we're gonna give it a try and see what kind of art we can create. stencil designs that we have to choose from. Keith, which design have you chosen for your shirt? I decided I'm gonna be out of this world and go with the astronaut. <laughs> How about you? I'm going to do this one that says, I love MTV. Before you get started, you do have to do a little bit of work and you have to punch out the design. All right, let's do it. We read through the instructions and it says the spray just sticks up, but after reading the instructions, it seems a little bit more complicated than that. Yeah, we're not sure we agree with the six plus age range on there, but we're gonna do our best. I think we can handle it. That's right. Okay. All right. Step one is you pop out the middle <laughs> part of the spray. Okay, good job, babe. Woo, we're done here. No. All right, and then what it says you need to do next is you have this mesh like a really thin tool. Yeah, like Non-wrinkly. Wand away. <laughs> it's like wand away. What's she wearing? Wand away? <laughs> Who gets that reference? <laughs> All right, so you place the mesh down. Okay. And then you take this guy and you pop it back into place. And you want your mesh to be as tight as possible. It actually used one of my least favorite words. <laughs> Taut. Taut. Taught. I taught you that word. The only tots I like are from Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> no, this is T-A-U-T. You gotta make it taut. I know. One time, a long time ago, I kept using that word because we were like hanging curtains or something and I said, you gotta pull it taut, babe. And you kept saying, why are you saying it like that? He thought I was trying to say tight, but with like I had an accent or something. And I was like, taut, it's its own word. And I taught you that word. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, so the mesh is now on the screen. Okay. We're supposed to flip it over. Okay. This side. All right. And then we are gonna lay our design down. Do you wanna do it upside down? There we go. Okay, now the only thing they didn't include in the set is you need some tape. It said masking tape. We're using blue painter's tape, hoping that that will be acceptable. And we're supposed to basically tape this on and then cover all of this extra area around the outside of the stencil. today's project, I purchased two plain white t-shirts and this is what we're using to decorate. So if they turn out good, you'll see us wearing these in future videos. If not, we might be sleeping in them. <laughs> might be a one and done. All right, we taped the t-shirt to the table and we're placing the design in the middle and we're probably gonna tape it down as well because we really don't want any of this to move while we're doing the printing. Keith has got his blue paint. The direction says to pour a generous line very, right here. It's very thick. So. Is it thick? I was thinking it would be thin. <laughs> How are you supposed to pour that? You can't. All right, let me go get like a popsicle stick or something. I'll be right back. All right, so the paint is thicker than we expected, so it said to pour a line, so instead of pouring, 
he's globbing it on, but it said to make it a generous line because you're gonna have to scrape that down. So put lots on there, Keith. There we go. So right above the design there. Our dog is down here being impatient. What are you doing, Jesse? What's going on? <laughs> is that generous enough? I don't know. I've never done this. Probably. It looks like a lot. I'm very generous. <laughs> Are you generous? Okay. All right. Okay. Let me read the directions. This part is critical. I'm ready to scrape. You're ready? Okay. Take your squeegee and scrape the ink in a downward motion from the top to the bottom of your screen. Repeat until the whole stencil has been covered in ink. Okay. Oh boy. This is scary. Are you ready? I'm predicting a fail. No, don't, don't do that. Don't predict a fail. Let's be optimistic. You can do it. Okay. We're gonna learn a new skill today. All right. Okay, do it. Do it, do it. Oh boy. Ooh, you were generous. It all came in the first pass. Wow. Okay, so just kind of keep scraping, I guess. Get the excess. All right, here we go. It's time for the big reveal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Babe. Wow. That is awesome. Good job, you did it. Your first screen print. What do you think? Now, you were a naysayer. You thought it was gonna look bad. Yeah. But it looks perfect. Let's go to this side so they can see the right side. It is perfect. Good job. I love it. And I like the thickness of the paint because it has a little bit of a texture to it. So I don't know if it's going to dry like that, but that's really cool. Okay, Keith had a success with his shirt. It's behind me drying. Now it's my turn. No pressure. <laughs> my stencil says, I love my MTV. And I'm going to try to do as good of a job as he did. So step one, taping this on here. Okay, here's my pattern and I am going to be using the hot pink. Okay, I'm kind of nervous because Keith went first and his was perfect. And <laughs> mine'll probably be trash. <laughs> garbage. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. All right, that was not generous. Let's get you, I think that was the key. You put lots of paint, so you only had to do like one big pass. Boy, it is thick. I love this color though. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a magenta. Very 80s. Keith, any words to the wise here? Just go slow and steady. Okay. I put a lot of paint. I hope I didn't overdo it. All right, so just grab the paint and scrape it down. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Keep going. Okay. Don't stop. Okay, here we go. The big reveal. Eek. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. That looks awesome. Good job, Abby. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty dang good. You know, I thought that your pattern was super complicated and it would be harder and like it would not turn out as good. But I actually think that one was better because these thicker lines um, have more of a chance for like error, margin of error. Does that make sense? The one with the really thin lines has less of a margin of error. But look at this part. Oh my goodness. Even the little writing came out perfect. That's cool. I love it. You guys, how cute is this? It'll be perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Do you like it? 
Jesse approves. I want my MTV.